Hello, my name is Lorinas, and today I will help you to figure out which pixel pitch of the sensor, also known as microbolometer, suits you best, 12 or 17 microns. Does size matter? In short, yes, it does. But what you should know beforehand, pixel pitch directly influences base magnification, image quality, and thermal imager sensitivity. Yet still, there are a lot of beliefs and misconceptions floating around. So let's debunk those. Stay with us and let's dive together into this rabbit hole. In order to illustrate this concept, we'll be talking about two devices with a different pixel pitch of the sensor. It's the Axion 2 XG35 and Helion 2 XP50 Pro thermal imaging monoculars. The Axion 2 features a powerful French-made 640 by 480 pixel resolution 12 micron sensor. The same sensor resolution as the Helion 2, except for a tiny detail, which actually makes a huge difference. The pixel pitch that is 17 microns. In your opinion, which of them would be more sensitive? Usually, user determines the class of the thermal imager by the sensor resolution or, in other words, the quantity of the pixels horizontally and vertically. The bigger the number, the better is the device itself and the quality of the image. If we are talking about the same weather and temperature conditions, the image produced by the 640 by 480 sensor will be more detailed than the 320 by 240. From a user's point of view, the spatial resolution is the most simple and objective parameter to determine the capabilities of the thermal imager. But in this case, we're ignoring the size of the pixel, in technical language known as pixel pitch, when in truth, size of the pixel directly impacts sensitivity of the sensor, meaning the ability of thermal imager to detect smaller differences of temperatures, allowing to draw a higher quality and informative image. And now let's simply compare two sensors with different pixel pitches and how they impact our thermal imagers, the Axion 2 XG35 and the Helion 2 XP50 Pro. Objective lens, 35 mm focus with 1.0 aperture of the Axion and a slightly larger 50 mm focus with 1.0 aperture of the Helion. Both devices feature the same resolution 640 by 480 pixel sensor, but the pixel pitch or size differs from 12 microns in the Axion to 17 microns in the Helion. 40 millikelvins versus 25 millikelvins and ATD. Both devices share the same display resolution as well as equal base magnification, basically identical field of view and just 50 meters difference in detection range. Also, there is substantial difference in the size of these devices. As you can see, these two scopes feature quite similar characteristics, yet their price varies in almost 30%. Now, let's find out why. If I take the Axion 2 XG35 or the Helion 2 XP50 Pro with me on the field on a summer night and take a look around, I will probably not see a big difference between the two pictures both are of high contrast and detailedness. As many of you know well, a hunt rarely takes place in ideal weather conditions. Main seasons for hunting in Europe are autumn and winter, and that's the time of rain, fog, and frosty nights. It is in such real conditions of low temperature contrast that the difference in image quality appears and the difference in price becomes justified. As you can see, in conditions of low temperature contrast, the picture in Helion 2 XP50 Pro is more informative, almost as a black and white photo with large range of midtones and a high quality rendering of the animal and the background. The same with the detection range. Both thermal imagers have the same detection range of an object, such as a human figure, with one butt. This is true for ideal observation conditions, 
while in unfavorable conditions, the Axion 2 XG35 will sync noticeably faster in terms of detection efficiency and extreme distances. The answer to this is that the superiority of the Helion 2 XP50 Pro in such conditions arises primarily from the characteristics of the sensor, namely the sensitivity. Thermal sensitivity can be described as an ability to differentiate between temperature differences. The overall sensitivity of the device is impacted by quality of the lens, image processing, and the sensitivity of the microbolometer. And talking about sensor, that is defined by the NETD, known as noise equivalent temperature differences. The lower its value, the higher the sensitivity. But if you feel ready to dive even deeper, you have to know that the pixel size directly affects the NETD of the sensor. The larger the pixel, the more infrared information it is able to receive, which in turn results in more precise picture rendering. At this point, I should note that the differences between the image quality between the Axion 2 and Helion 2 under the conditions of low temperature contrast is created not only by the differences in sensor sensitivity, but also by the difference in the optics. Helion 2 XP50 Pro uses f50 1.0 aperture lens, and the Axion 2 XG35 uses the same 1.0 aperture, but smaller 35 mm lens. As you can see, both lenses are fast, but Helion collects more IR radiation due to larger area of the lens. The Axion 2 features a lens with a smaller focus, while the Helion 2 got a larger one. But due to the smaller pixel pitch in the Axion sensor, the detection range of the devices is equal. Under ideal conditions, with the deterioration of temperature contrast at the observation site, the Helion will provide better results because of a better NETD sensor. And secondly, for the same resolution, a sensor with a smaller pixel pitch will be physically smaller and the device more compact. And finally, with the same display, lens focus and a sensor resolution, a higher base magnification and a smaller field of view will be in a thermal imager which has a sensor with a smaller pixel size. Just let me remind you. The base magnification is affected by the physical size of the sensor, which is the smaller, the smaller the pixel pitch. So, to sum up all the things we've covered today, 17 micron sensor is more sensitive than the 12 micron one. Sometimes size really does matter, but keep in mind that in the end, it all comes down to the type of hunt you prefer. Smaller pixel size also means higher base magnification and more compact size of the device. Stay well and see you next time.